Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Neil V. Grayson. Today's topic, the new calendar schedule, finals before break or after break. Cubs, let me take you back a year. We wouldn't even be in school today as we're filming this. We would be sitting at home, able to do our homework, because we had the Monday after Thanksgiving off thanks to Pledge Detroit. In the new calendar, that reality's gone. Instead, we're left with three weeks of classes before exams begin. We're left with tests that will be taken the Monday and Tuesday before exams where teachers hope to be able to give them back end of class on Friday. That's not time to review with your teachers, guys. That's time to say, here's what you did wrong, figure it out. That's not what finals should be. The week, the week after Christmas break, even though it was a two-week break, and even though most kids did not use it to study, provided the opportunity for review that will be lacking this year. It allowed for a transition from the learning period to finals, to test taking. Cubs, it's also important to remember that now you have to study in December. So you can't have holiday parties the weekend before finals because you're too busy studying for your exams. So that's the, that's the case for the old way. Alrighty, so I just want to break this down to a couple points. And I understand where you're coming from. As far I understand where a lot of you are coming from as far as your concerns with the new system. But the way I see it, having finals after Christmas break means that break doesn't serve as a period of respite. It serves as an interruption. See, studies show that when students are able to continually learn and then test without interruption, they're able to retain material more easily, and they're eas more easily adapted to the mindset of test taking, as opposed to having a two-week break, then having to come back, hit the ground running, an entire week of stress, and then take a test, a lot of which the material you've forgotten over break. See, a lot of people don't utilize Christmas break from the get-go, to study. And as Mr. Charbonneau pointed out today in third hour, the extra days off that we've lost the, the days off that we've lost this semester have actually been compensated. For example, there is either a three or four day weekend, the, the weekend before finals, it's a study period. It's called reading day. It's either the Friday or the, Monday, the Monday before. It's the Monday before okay. But so would yeah. you rather have that? So or would you Monday have a have or would you rather have also, a week where you could ask your teachers the questions? Also I would like to point out that the day off Monday after Thanksgiving break has been moved to after Super Bowl Sunday. So we and our do, Lions aren't we playing, do, so who cares? We do get that day off. And here's the reality of the situation, is if we can keep our students in that mindset of learning and testing, they'll be able to more effectively test over finals. And you bring up the point of having concerns about material and being able to bring that up with your teachers. Well, considering the fact that we'll still be in school, you'll still be able to bring up those concerns with your teachers. And but as if, for the test your is last point, if the test is given back on Friday, as, when do we get to bring it up with our teachers? As for your last point, uh, for holiday parties, what happened to having those over Christmas break? Some of us go away for Christmas break. So, party away? You can't, you can't party with your family who lives in town when you've got to go out of town after. Uh, you can party at home? It's, it's a whole two weeks. Yeah. I mean, you know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, yeah, you you like, you, I, can, I know, you can, I know you can Grayson, tell my mom that. <laughs> I know Grayson's my a party. My mom's furious with I know me about Grayson, this. I know Grayson's a partier <laughs> and everything like that. So this matters to him, and I understand. So yeah, Grayson, yeah. you can throw your parties whenever you yeah. want. Yeah, you don't have to explain to my 87-year-old grandpa <laughs> how I can't come up to Okemos now because I have finals I have to study hey, for. invite them to the party. They can come to the party. It's their party, Neil, not I, mine. I'm, I'm, I'm sure your grandparents are fun to party with right. you know, in Okemos. Right. Yeah, we we got to sure get back on track. Cubs, here's the thing. Exams before, exams before break, while they might seem good, all the baggage that they bring, the, the lack of tests, the lack of test grades, the lack of opportunity to ask questions if tests are being handed back that Friday, that hurts, guys. That really hurts. Cubs. The Board of Education, or excuse me, the school board <laughs> voted to make a momentous change last year. We, the students, voted to make a change last year. A change that would benefit us as far as our learning trajectory. By not having Christmas break interrupting our learning, we were able to more effectively test, get finals over with before break. Wait. Then after that, you have two weeks of relaxation between semesters. Then as soon as you come back, you don't have to worry about a week of panic having to study for finals. You have a clean slate, a clean restart, and a clean adjustment back to the school year. 
All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching this week's uh, Neil V. Grayson. And there will be a Twitter poll on who do you think won uh, finals before or after break. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>